Okay, so our front door is currently on the side of the house. You can see from the videos, it's pretty awkward to get in and out, especially when you're carrying stuff in. So as well as that, it does look pretty ugly from the outside because it's, it's just a brick wall with a door in the middle of it. The living room is right behind you and the kitchen is behind me. To get round the door, you kind of have to shut the door and then walk round. It's, it's not very practical. So with that being said, welcome to the new hallway. Ugh. Welcome to the new hallway. So behind where Kira's standing now is basically going to be our new front door here. So we've created, this was an old dining room. We've scrapped that, we've just decided to get rid of the dining room because we don't use it. A downstairs loo and a utility. So we're getting the door fitted this week. It's basically going to be a nice modern door with, with glass panels in the centre and then we're going to have a standard window next to it here. So we still get the light coming through. So me and Kira are a bit obsessed with your homemade perfect back in the day. And one of the main points that the architects mentioned was, if possible, if you can open your front door and be able to see the garden, then that just makes your house look so much better when i win a chicken dinner <laughs> so we have basically created that for ourselves yes we've got rid of a dining room but we've also created two separate rooms and then a nice big hallway as well okay so you're basically where the door will be this is our new downstairs toilet this is going to be the utility with the washer and a dryer on top and then obviously this will be the nice big hallway with the garden view so yeah as i said it makes it feel a lot more roomy and it's just it's the kind of style that we like. And on top of that, this living room is big enough to have uh, like a small dining room table as well. So we're still going to be able to eat dinner at the table if we want. So this is kind of a better angle. Obviously, this is quite a large hallway, but because of the fridge and Ewan's toolbox, it makes it look 10 times smaller. But imagine these went there, it goes right up to this wall. It's just hard to tell. It kind of lets you see the whole of the double sided doors. So it's kind of adds a lot of light from both directions yeah so creating the utility is basically going to free up a lot of room to get the washing room out the kitchen and then that fridge will be in the kitchen then welcome right so we've just had the door fitted um it's really exciting because we can see our end vision we can see the vision coming together now so yeah we're really happy with it while it was getting fitted we was a little bit skeptical about the window on the side it's like a sandblasted window but we're kind of coming around to it now. I really like it. And I'll show you a few clips from the outside, what it looks like. And yeah, one step closer to the finished house. So if you haven't noticed already, the inside colour we've gone for white, just so it matches whatever design or whatever paint we have on the walls once it's finished. And then the outside is like a um, dark grey blue colour. But that was the window I was talking about. It's sandblasted and matches these it's windows really and the door as well. It? But yeah, I don't think it's that big of a deal. So this is now our front door view, straight into the garden at the back. And we went for the bar as well, rather than a handle, letterbox down the bottom. And also another cool feature that we like is, most doors have it now apparently, but uh, there's no handle on the inside and you don't actually have to lock it with keys at night. You just turn it and then that's it that's locked. And then to open it, just do it away. It's gonna take a while to get used to, but yeah, so we're gonna have to try and not to lock ourselves out. If we do, we've still got the side door, the original door that we've been using. Yeah, some people don't like to not act, not be able to open the door from the outside, but for us, I mean, I've always grown up with a door like that anyway, so it doesn't bother me. Let us know what you think as well in the comments. Um, we're eager to get some opinions on it. As I said, we wasn't too sure with that window at the start, but we both like it now, so. So if you've watched from the start, you can appreciate that we've done a lot of changes in this house. For example, this opening here, straight to the front, this was all blocked up. We've obviously not knocked that through. So we've got the nice open hallway into the now living room, which hopefully will be finished soon. You can kind of see our vision with it. So all this eventually will be gone. It will be a pitched roof and hopefully it will match the kitchen. We're unsure whether to extend the kitchen forward to meet this part of the house. That is our next discussion. We need to see what the value will be. We're going to arrange to get a valuer to come in and hopefully they can give us some sort of indication of how much it would increase if it would increase at all. Definitely for the curb appeal, it would be worth it. Lots of big jobs to do, but yeah, this is really exciting, getting the front door fitted. It's just a big change to the house.